Good evening and thank you for joining us. We're going to begin tonight with what could be a dramatic new setback in the fight against coronavirus. Researchers say they've now discovered a new variant of the virus in New York City and that it is spreading quickly. Even more frightening, current vaccines may not be as effective at fighting it. The nation's top infectious disease doctor, Anthony Fauci, said today the best way to stop those new variants from spreading is to get Americans vaccinated as fast as possible. And as we come on the air tonight, the FDA is taking a big step to making that happen. The agency now says Pfizer's vaccine no longer has to be shipped or stored at those sub-zero temperatures. That's a huge breakthrough that will make it easier to get shots to sites across the U.S. And we're also learning that Pfizer and Moderna are now working on possible booster shots of their vaccine vaccines. That could mean getting a third dose to help fight off these new variants. Now, at the White House tonight, President Biden is celebrating, saying 50 million shots have now been given out nationwide since he took office, half of the 100 million he promised to deliver in his first 100 days. Now, combined with the shots given out during the Trump administration, that means nearly 68 million doses have been administered across the the country. We've got a lot of new reporting for you and your family tonight. We've got our team of correspondents standing by. CBS's Meg Oliver is going to lead off our coverage from New York City. Good evening, Meg. Nora, good evening. New York City health officials are trying to learn more about this new variant and just how prevalent it is. Researchers here at Columbia Medical Center told me in the last two weeks they've seen a 13% increase in the number of new cases. Tonight, an east and west coast punch of new COVID variants. First, a new strain in California, and now a homegrown mutation is spreading in New York City. Dr. David Ho's team at Columbia University was one of the first to detect the mutation, noting similarities to the more contagious South African and Brazilian strains. We don't know whether it's more transmissible, but we see it rising in prevalence within our patient population. Dr. Ho says the mutation, seen here in red, alters the spike protein, which enables the virus to dodge antibodies. That could result in a weaker immune response. So if you've received the vaccine, you could get reinfected. We don't know that for sure, but the South African uh, study uh, with the South African variant showed that uh, the protection drops from 90 plus percent to about 49 percent. Tonight, the FDA approved Pfizer's request to store its vaccine in pharmacy freezers for two weeks instead of ultra-cold specialized units. This as Pfizer and Moderna are testing whether a booster shot of their vaccines can protect against the variant identified in South Africa. What we care about is making sure people don't get sick, they don't get hospitalized, and of course, most importantly, that they don't die. Still, the death toll in California reached new heights today, the first state to surpass 50,000 after a backlog of reported deaths. It comes despite a steep drop in cases, hospitalizations, and deaths nationwide, especially in nursing homes where deaths are down 66% in long-term care facilities. Today, President Biden marked the cusp of 50 million first-dose vaccinations with a ceremony of shots going into arms. And the more people get vaccinated, the faster we're going to beat this pandemic. The halfway point to 100 million doses in his first 100 days. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York.